Hello everybody, my name is Darren and welcome back to the Couch Vlog. I would like to give a special shout out to Louis. Uh, I've met you at the Marina Range. Thanks for coming and say hi. A shout out to Weyrick as well. Uh, thanks for the good feedback and your message on uh, Instagram. And I would like to thank uh, Hongzhen and Patrick for your feedback as well on the videos. If you like the content, uh, please remember to subscribe and like and share with your friends. So let's begin. We are at Sentosa Country Club's uh, Tanjong Golf Course. Uh, this is a beautiful course. Uh, they have updated uh, some of the holes and it has gotten a bit more difficult than I previously played, I guess, uh, one or two years ago. So on this first hole, uh, there's not much change except for the bunker on the right side of the ferry. Other than that, um, it's still the same. So now I've got a buddy look uh, from a wedge in about 80 meters. Misread this, as you can see the green is topsoil. So I guess uh, I'm going to have some trouble on the greens. But let's enjoy and have a good game today. Hole number 2 is a par 4 at 335 meters. There's bunkers on the right side of the fairway and it's within my reach. So the plan is to draw, uh, start the ball uh, towards the bunker and draw it back towards the center. As you notice, there's a buggy on the ferry, so it actually came from the 8th hole. So thank god it wasn't from the front flight. So now my second shot, uh, the pin is tucked left uh, with 99 meters. It's a comfortable distance for my 50 degree wedge and I'm going straight for the pin. First birdie of the day. And we're moving on to the third hole. Hole 3, I think they've switched this hole up a little bit. I think this used to be hole 6 before, so now it's hole 3. Um, there's bunker on the right side of this ferry. Uh, it suits my eye as I normally hit a draw, so my miss on the left would still be favourable for me. On the second shot, my ball is in the rough. Uh, it's sitting, I would say, semi-sitting down. So I've got a, a 54 degrees. And I plan to hoist this up really high up into the air and let it land softly towards the center of the green. Now I'm left with a rather long part for birdie. So my only intention is to get it as close as possible and then have a tap in for par. Hole 4 is a par 3. Uh, we're going downhill. So let's have a look at what the green looks like. So the pin is uh, front left. It's 150 meters to the pin and carrying the water at the front is about 140 meters. So with a full 8 iron, which goes about 145, I will be able to carry the front even though I do not hit it that well. I'm gonna hit a push draw, so I'm gonna start right of the pin and let the ball come back towards the center of the green. Missed it slightly, but I've actually planned for that because uh, my 8 iron actually goes about 145, 146. So now I'm left with a birdie part. As you can see, I'm not really familiar with the green, so miss this a bit on the low side. So I'm left with uh, probably a two foot for par. Hole 5 is a par 5 with the water on the left. Uh, it's not a favourable look for me as I normally draw my ball. Uh, yes, I avoided the water, like really avoided it and it went to the other ferry. Thank God, nobody was on the other side. So now I just have to play the ball back towards the ferry. So as you can see where the green is, I'm going to start the ball right and draw it back. I didn't draw it enough, but still good enough for me to have a good third look towards the green. The pin position is tucked middle left. So that's a pin where if I overdraw it too much, I might find myself in the water. So the plan is just to hit it towards the center of the green. I try to make birdie from there. If not, a par would still be good. This part is going to be really quick. So I've actually reminded myself, just put it close towards the hole. But sometimes, you know, we are human, we forget. And the ball just blazed past the hole. So left with a tricky, I would say, testy three-footer. Thank God they found the back of the cup. And we are still one under moving on to the next hole. Hole six is a new hole. 
I think they have extended this hole and it's about 433 meters now. And on your second shot, you will expect an extreme uphill shot. Didn't hit my drive well as I was kind of unsure. So now I'm left with 185 meters to the pin. To carry the front bunker is about 170 meters. So with a 4 iron, I should be able to carry the front bunker. However, not everything goes to plan. Uh, didn't hit this too well and the ball ended up in the bunker. Pin is tucked at the back. Uh, the ball is sitting well. So with the lob wedge, I intend to blast this up in the air and hope it gets close as possible towards the hole. Saving par, moving on to the next hole. Hole 7 is a very long par 3. So I'm gonna make, I'll be making some really bad decisions moving on from hole 7, 8 and 9. So hole 7, uh, my usual stock shape will be a draw, but I'm not sure why I chose to hit a high fade. And obviously that's not the shot that I would hit most of the time. And I put myself in a really awkward situation to save par. Uh, the ball is sitting down, and I thought that the ball would actually land onto the green and release aggressively. But to my dismay and disappointment, the ball did the opposite. It spun and left myself with a really long par putt. So from here, I just didn't want to compound the mistakes. Two part, take my medicine, go away with the bogey and try to salvage my scores with the next few holes. Hole 8, uh, there's a bunker on the right and there's a creek up in front on the ferry. So I didn't smash this driver too hard, just uh, placed the ball in the center of the ferry. And now I'm left with about 189 meters to the pin. Uh, the pin is actually in front. The plan for this hole is always to hit it towards the right side of the green, as the ball will kick back towards the hole. So with my 4 iron, uh, did it as planned because the draw is my stock shape, and found myself in front of the green. Now this is where I was kind of unsure of the break and the speed. So I did not putt this really well, under red, under read, under putt. Got a bit frustrated, missed my birdie putt as well, and walked away with a very disappointing putt. Hole 9, I recollected myself, reset. I just need to place the ball in the middle of a fairway, hit this really good. So now I'm left with an uphill 154 meters to the pin. The pin is tucked left and the bunker is just beside it. Originally, I actually planned to hit the ball towards the center of the green, but I guess I got clouded by you know the misjudgment of the last two holes and decided to attack the pin. And now I'm punished for it. I should have just went for my original plan and went for the center of the green. Uh, but now being too cute again, I thought I could save par from that spot but the pin was only maybe about two or three steps from the bunker so now I'm four on I'm filming I'm not thinking properly I didn't bring my putter so decided to putt with my wedge and walked away with two over <laughs> 